So this is uh, the main lobby screen? Yeah, so you'll have friends of leaderboards. So we get in front of events, you get we'll buy packs here. We're going to have an auction house where you can probably buy things for event passes, perhaps. Okay. Uh, there's a single player campaign, but this is your collection manager right here. That's on the PC, right? Uh, yes, on the PC first, and then later it'll be on PS3. PS3, okay. Here you can look through the cards, you can see all their stats. Um, that's a move, that's an initiative number. What's the, what's the initiative number mean? Initiative determines how often and how quickly you act on the initiative bar. Okay. It's a, so the turn based, uh, everything uh, acts in its turn. So, so the more more initiative, the more. The faster you are, the more often you act. Okay, uh, that's range. Okay. Most creatures have a range of one, this archer has a range of six. Six meaning six uh, squares, six right? Six squares, that's right. And that's your mana cost right there. Okay. So these are the art from the Magic Gallery cards. Oh, the real. The real so we, we, you know, we give the creatures. We give these to the to the artists that we have creating the 3D models. Okay, and they, they based off that they made they model the creatures. Yeah, that's right. Very cool. But you just double click them to add them to your spell book down here. The spells you can have to find copies of. Up to five copies then. Up to spells, right? Up spells. So that's how you build your spell book. You can have multiple spell books saved for. Uh, now, are there is there going to be elements of like uh, scarcity or you know the, the trading card aspect of this? Or There'll be uh, commons, uncommons, and rares. Yeah, it's, and we'll probably follow the same kind of model as like I think Sarah Angels Uncommon, for example. Oh, okay. So. Can you trade with other players, or is it mainly you? If right now we have an auction house where you'll be able to take extra cards you have, and cards you don't want to put them up in the auction house, and players will be able to, to buy them with maybe event passes. So, some okay. kind of in-game cards. So event passes are, you have to buy, you have to pay hey, with, with real money? That's the way our TCGs work right now. They, okay. Event passes become a kind of currency that you can use to buy cards. I like the, uh, wait, you talk about the Magic on Online game, or the... I'm actually, actually, we're Sony Online Entertainment. Oh, oh. And we're the Denver studio, so I'm talking about we have uh, the Legend of Norath game based oh, okay. on EverQuest and, and a Star Wars Galaxies game. So we're, we're experienced in the, creating the tournament environment, creating the casual lobbies, and creating a, a situation where players can exchange cards. So this, uh, uh, the event passes are, are kind of within your ecosystem of those two games as well? Like, uh, so if I do here, I can use those event passes on those two games? It's not working that way now, but it could. It could, okay. And we're already talking about using Station Cash here, which is something you can use throughout SOE products.